both nice shots. It's tough because they both have snipers. Squad eliminated. That's a screen that you're gonna have to get familiar with if you're a solo DMZ player, because when a team takes you out, it's over. On to the next one. And in today's video, you're gonna see one of the best ways to regain in solo DMZ, or just DMZ in general. And you're also gonna see me deal with a couple of sticky situations. Enjoy. Enemy threat is high, so expect contact. I swear I always get this spawn as a solo. Let's see what we got near us. Train's coming in almost immediately. So this could not have worked out more perfect as terms as like a solo regain. So let's get busy. Self-revive, Icarus. Two plate vest. Storage key. Another self revive. Yeah, honestly, train is probably one of the easiest ways to regain. Uh, three plate vest, amazing. Cluster mine. Uh, medium backpack, gas mask. And we are cooking. The next thing I really want to make is a comms vest. Um, in my opinion, I think the comms vest is one of the best things you can have in solo DMZ, just because it alerts you when enemy operators are nearby. I think it's invaluable if you're playing this game solo. I think it's almost borderline a must have, actually, if you're playing this game solo. So um, we're going to start looting around different buildings and just you know, kind of kind of searching around this entire area right here and seeing if we just can't get the ingredients we need for a comms vest. Plenty of other things we could do, but since we got the train spawn kind of all set with a three plate vest, we got the selfs. Now we're just looking for that vest. I love just kind of keeping it stealthy with the throwing knives uh, as well. As soon as I say that, I miss a throwing knife, and now we're not keeping it stealthy anymore. <laughs> Listen, it's the effort that counts. It's the effort. I'll still an extra stun grenade, sure, why not? Ultra One, activity has increased in the area. Keep your eyes open. Of course it has, because they know I'm here now. So, for a comms vest, we're going to need one soothing hand cream, two batteries, and two hard drives. I have had that memorized into my skull. It's a wrench, gun cleaning oil, nothing in here so far. That's quite alright. Hello, buddy. Excuse me, I will take the 70 for you. A little bit more mobility on this thing. I'm going to drop my muni box, though. So... I can pick up the throwing knives again and actually put them to some use. So while we can, let's just get away from all those AI and let us start rummaging through buildings again, keeping a lookout for hard drives and soothing hand cream. There's one of the batteries we need. We need two of those. And we also need two hard drives. Hard drives, I've seen spawn everywhere, obviously not refrigerators, but I always open those anyway, just because I'm addicted to looting. <laughs> but hard drives I've seen anywhere, they've been on every single shelf in all different types of areas. A lot of times you'll find them. I will stay sharp. A lot of times you'll find them, most of the time you'll find them in and around computers, so always loot the computers. You're either going to have thumb drives or hard drives or electrical components. See, we're inside of a house. Hard drive right there. So it's two of five items that we need. There's a Jeep moving up there on the uh, 
That looks like a player Jeep. Could be AI too. It's just moving really sporadically, which normally indicates actual players. But we're going to mind our business for a while because, again, we're just trying to regain and get out. If we have to fight, we will, but I prefer not to this game. I normally like going for a comms vest first because it is the part of regaining. Hostile advanced UAV is active. Hostile advanced UAV. Well, mildly terrifying, I would say. Let's try to get inside. As I slid towards these double doors, knowing an enemy team was around, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Luckily for me, though, neither did they. Stay sharp. Be, you know what? Cluster mine deployed. Let's throw that cluster down there. Is he a cluster mine up here? He's on me in the top corner. Right here. The alley. He's back in. Can't be chasing him. He went left. Out the far door. Watch the cluster mine. little buggers. I don't get 3v1 like that, boys. What the hell? No, no. None of that. GG's, boys. You know, I said I didn't want to run into operators, and this was supposed to be a regain video. And they brought me everything I need to regain. There's our comms vest. There's our large backpack. I was not expecting to have to do any PvP here today. I was really just gonna mind my own business. There's my durable gas mask. There's a self. Um, some comic books. <laughs> I mean, and that, that was intense and it, it was a fun time. Um, but I was not expecting to have to do any of that. We'll take... We'll, we'll take those dog tags. We can take this guy's stronghold key card. We can take um, his M4, which just looks like a good sniper support M4. Uh, what else did he have? He had a Bass P. We can take that as well. Solid SMG. That guy had a plate right there. Um... Okay, this this is this is one hell of a regain. We got a comms vest from those guys. We got large backpacks. We got durable gas masks. We got self revive uh, guns. I'm going to just uh, I think figure out what else they had for weapons and stow my third weapon. This AI is extremely annoying in this area, like ungodly levels of annoying. So we're going to stow that FJX Imperium. And we are... I feel like I'm getting shot by a player again. No, I'm not. It's just that AI right there. We have been here for a very long time, though, so we do, we should probably get out of here because I would imagine players are nearby. But we do have a comms vest now, and I would have been alerted. So actually, there is nobody, there is nobody near us. We're very much still in the hot zone right now. And if we do run into another squad of operators, we don't really have anything to fight back. Like we we have no plates, we have no no healability, if you will, in that firefight. Last fight, we got lucky. I didn't have many... Ver uh, I don't think I was... I'll, well, I'll have to watch the footage back, but I don't think I had very many plates at all during that last operator fight. And we just happened to um, just outposition them. Straight up, that's all it was. Just good movement, good game sense, good, good IQ. I was listening to his callouts to kind of gauge where he might be telling his teammates to push from, so that was definitely helping out a lot. Uh, I'm gonna drop. Activity has increased in the area. Keep your eyes open. 
sell these dog tags that we don't need anymore. And then what I can do here to actually get out is I can buy an LTV turret. We have the money. I don't need a large backpack. I don't need to buy anything else in here. We can get an LTV and we can get to the evac zone. Coming in hot. Now. <sighs> There's a couple of different ways we can evac out of here. We could obviously go to a normal site. And evac. Which they are just now doing. Might be able to get a cheeky snipe. That's funny, we just missed them. Looks like potentially a solo. Not gonna be able to hit nothing there. That's okay. I'm actually gonna re-equip the SMG. Just because that sniper is almost out of ammo. I'm in general almost out of ammo right now. So they just left. We could just evac here. We could also take a safer evac. Ultra one, we're seeing enemy operators near your location. Enemy operators near my location. Okay. So they may have actually been fighting a team of exfil campers. Or I'm getting that notification for the chopper. Either way, um, I think we're going to take a slightly safer approach to exfilling, at least in my opinion. And we're going to come all the way back here and do a hostage mission to get out with our own personal exfil with the hostage. Now, I love doing the hostage missions to get out of Almazra just because there's, I mean, there's a big problem with exfil campers. I just got shot at from the big roof, though. So I am taking sniper fire from the city roof. Yep, there it is. And and some assault rifle fire from way up there. Those are some good shots. It's not doing a lot of damage because of how far away I am. But they look to have downtown under control. So, change of plans. This is, this is part of regaining, though. You kind of have to be adaptable. If they're shooting me from that far away, then I have full faith that they're willing to push me with with everything they got, so. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work our way through here. We did just get critical in the car though, that's no good. And we're gonna wrap back around here. I'm getting shot from that building right there. That's like the, the TV broadcasting station or the, the news channel fucking TV. Uh, yeah, news channel TV, then whatever. The TV station building right there, they're still, they're still on to me. Or the big building. No, it's big building. You guys are ballsy for those shots. I honestly, I respect it. I really do. That's a- they're still shooting. I got a sniper too, but it's only got three shots. They're pushing. They're pushing me. These guys are exfil camping from the other side of the map. This just got extremely interesting. This is Dino 4. We're approaching the LZ now. Keep it secure for us. Just broke that guy. This is gonna be. Ultra One, heads up. We're seeing a squad of operators near your position. Oh, I know you are. Because they're still watching me from Big Tower. They're a little bit separated now because they got one guy still in Big Ultra Tower. One, Dino Four, we're standing by. Get to the extraction point now. I can't extract there anymore. They're they're camping that. I have I haven't seen a team exfil camp from that far i mean that is a hell of an exfil camp that's a good gotta be damn near close to six 600 to a thousand meters away and then they just flew over the second they could i mean i <laughs> i mean you got like that's what you gotta respect it
You gotta respect it. These bots are gonna give me a very hard time though. Because we can't stay here long. How much how much armor do we have? We gotta we gotta keep it moving. I'm here to buy a munitions box. Two of them, actually. One for me, one for my stash. And we're, we're going to keep it moving. We got plenty of time to exfil. Ultra one, the enemy is on high alert. Proceed with caution. So we kind of just have to keep it, keep it going. Whatever, whatever uh, sniper I picked up off of the enemy that we killed with this one right here. Seems to have uh, fire rounds in it. I think we're gonna catch the train. We're gonna we're gonna finish this this round where we started. We started on the train, and we're gonna we're gonna ride the train all the way out. We're gonna see if we can't ride this train all the way to where is this Said City in the middle of the field? Better yet. That's going to be extremely hot. What we do have right here, though, right above Sawa Village, is a hostage exfil. And this might be our best bet. So I think that's where we're going to head. Now, there's a lot of different ways to regain. This match is an anomaly because it's not going to be often that you 1v3 a team and that's the way you regain. I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I hit the record button today, this was not what I was expecting to show you. I had the full intention of just showing you a completely PvP-less regain, going around, crafting a comms vest, buying a large backpack, finding some self-revives and some meds from hospitals. I was not expecting this game to be as action-packed as it is, but I mean, and that, that's, that's also the same exact reason why I love DMZ so much, is because you go into every match, very much how Warzone plays. Um, I'm just bored of Warzone, but you go into every match's DMZ and you just never know what you're going to run into. Train's making a stop here at Hafid Port or Hafid Port. We should be taken off again momentarily. This might be where I exit the vehicle and go to the spy station. I have not gotten any comms alert pings that there's enemies nearby. So I should be able to just say my farewells there. Make our way to the spy station. And a little workbench as well. This is where we can change the attachments on the sniper rifle. We're going to get rid of... There, yep, there it is. He has... Let me, let me show you guys real quick. He's got incendiary rounds on this. Don't know why, but he's got them. So we're going to swap this out. We're going to remove that. We're going with explosive rounds. We're also going to add... Uh, we're going to get rid of the laser because that's a dead giveaway. We're going to get rid of the rechamber, and we're going to add the Fahrenheit barrel for some more bullet velocity. We're going to add the nil sound muzzle for bullet velocity and suppression. And last attachment, I like to go with, hmm, I'm going to go with the faster rechambering for the bolt, not the accuracy, so you can take more shots uh, quicker. And now, our FJX Imperium is how we like it. couple different ways we could do this i might just take the vehicle and and get over there it's a very weak vehicle either bots were in it or players were in it and it got shot a lot earlier in the game i'm gonna pretend that i'm a bot vehicle just because this is the trucks that they spawn in that's a bot helicopter plenty of ai over here to boot Radiation's coming in. We gotta make this hospital... Actually, we're, we're pretty far away, but we gotta do this hostage quick. Alright, where are you at, my friend? He's across the river, unfortunately. We're gonna be cutting this very close. We're 
we're going to be cutting this exfil very close with this hostage. Radiation spreading pretty quick. I think we're going to be able to just barely do this. Whatever happens, just know that this is one of the best regains of all time. Even if we die and it's not a regain, but that's that's small detail. Don't worry about that. Don't focus on the negative. Ultra one, be advised, you are approaching the hostage location now. Expect contact. Roger that. We've got time. Stick and move. Stick and move, stick and move. Where's he at? There he is. We gotta move. Explosives disarmed. Proceed to an extract point with the hostage. Perfect. It's right, it's right outside. Exfil Hilo is inbound. Get that hostage to the designated LZ. We're here. Get that helo on the ground. We got lucky with this hostage exfil because sometimes they make you run a couple hundred meters. This is literally in the backyard. So it looks like we are going to be beating the radiation. I'm still getting no comms vest alerts that there's operators in the area. It's looking like we're going to be out of here clean. Get this thing out of here. Now. And that is how you do it. 